This is Le Mont Saint-Michel, a small island just off the coast of Normandy at the border of Brittany. And it is one of the most enchanting sites in France. The edges of the very flat bay of the Mont Saint-Michel are gigantic salt marshes on which some of the very best French lamb is fed. Yannick Frein, a fourth generation farmer and shepherd, fattens his lamb for some of Europe's best restaurants. Every morning from March to December, Yannick and his dog Basco take the large flock of about 800 sheep to the salt marshes about a kilometer away. The sheep graze all day on very special seagrass called l'herbus. During the highest tides, about once a month, this ground is covered by sea. Quand la mer se retire, elle va laisser un dépôt de sel sur les plantes. Ce dépôt de sel, quand il va être pâturé, mangé par l'animal, va donner une saveur à la viande. Yannick also feeds his sheep with a special mix of cereals grown on his property. Alors, ce mélange est composé de trois céréales, oui. du, du maïs, de l'orge, oui. Euh, et puis pour complé compléter en protéines, du, du pois, du, po du petit pois blanc comme, qui, qui ressemble au pois chiche. This roast leg of lamb with beans is one of the most popular dishes in Normandy at Easter. First, I make small cuts into the lamb, then push slivers of garlic into the slits. The garlic gives a very beautiful flavor to the lamb, but you must make sure that the garlic is inside. If it is a little bit outside, it will burn. Next, I brush the lamb with some softened butter, seasoned with salt and pepper, and add pieces of carrots, some whole garlic cloves, and a few sprigs of thyme to the tray. I roast the lamb in the oven at 180 degrees, basting two or three times during the cooking. Once done, I transfer the meat vegetables and excess fat to a dish and cover with foil. Then I add half a glass of cider to the tray and bring it to the boil and add some drained cooked flageolet beans to reheat. I like to add some butter and chopped parsley for flavor. I serve two or three tablespoons of the beans and a few pieces of carrot and garlic on plates and top with thinly cut slices of lamb. The whole of France adores this gigot d'agneau au flageolet. It is in a century-old restaurant in the Mont Saint-Michel that you can taste one of the most famous original French dishes, the omelette de la mer Poulard. This Normandy speciality of foamy beaten egg whites mixed with egg yolk was created in the late 19th century by local cook Annette Poulard. It is still cooked traditionally in a battered iron pan on a wood fire. It is as light as a souffle, and I really love its delicate taste. The Loire Valley is very well known for its beautiful chateaus, and tomorrow we discover some of the great food of my native region.